10 billion yuan or 1.4 billion U.S. dollars for China's growing farmers. Officials say they hope the cash injection can bring new advancements in the sector. We encourage the planters to select and plant. We also demonstrate and promote new varieties and new technologies. The government says the subsidies will be allocated to actual grain growers, including individual farmers, large-scale farming on transferred lands, family farms and farmers' cooperatives. Agriculture enterprises and related entities will also benefit. It's also part of China's strong focus and investment in food security. With a fifth of the world's population and as global warming and geopolitical tensions make imports less reliable, scientists have been working to ease the country's dependence on the global market. For instance, a research and development center in Shandong is making progress in improving rice yields. It has developed a strain that can grow in seawater. The potential is huge. We will continue to promote seawater rice across the country. It's estimated that we will have more than 66,000 hectares of seawater rice by the end of this year. Officials say they're confident food security can be achieved through innovation and by ensuring the right incentives that are in place for researchers and farmers. The government says it hopes these new subsidies can offset any headwinds or challenges that are coming their way.